He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's gonna be a recovery, not a rescue. I got something. We got him! We've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. Some called it a miracle. It's the story of a St. Louis teenager who fell through an icy lake and was underwater for 15 minutes. All hope seemed lost, but his mother didn't lose hope. Her belief inspires those around her to pray for her son's recovery and then the breakthrough. Joining us now to talk about the film called Breakthrough is KMOX movie critic Mark Reardon. Now before we get to the movie review, which I'm anxious to hear, Mark actually had a chance to sit down with a few of the actors in Breakthrough while they were here. One of those cast mem members being Chrissy Metz, who's known for some other great projects. This is us, so, right? This is us in yeah. particular. One of the things Chrissy mentioned is the incredibly short amount of time she had to really get to know Joyce Smith, who is the mother that Chrissy portrays in the film. Oh, she's so loving and kind and funny. And uh, I was like, okay, I got, I got to get this right. And so luckily, uh, they both, John and Joyce, were very happy with our portrayal. Um, but, you know, not having spent as much time with her as, as one might have liked, um, I just really tried to capture the essence of the mama bear, of the devotion and the uh, unwavering love that she has, you know, for her son and for her family. And Mark, that's kind of surprising because we hear a lot about these actors who will spend weeks sometimes with the real life subject that they are portraying on the screen. Well, and here's what's even more amazing. Joyce Smith told me that they filmed this movie in Winnipeg, not here, unfortunately. You see some shots of St. Louis, yeah. but she goes up there at one point and she heard a, a trailer um, preview for the movie and mm -hmm. she heard the voice on there and she said, when did I record that? Well, it wasn't Joyce Smith. It was Chrissy Metz. She had nailed down her voice wow. so well. So even though she spent very little time After with After a couple uh, of hours Joyce, with her. Yeah. So yeah, this is the story. You know, I think we all covered it in yep. 2015. It was on MLK Day. John Smith, who um, went on the ice, Lake St. Louis, and fell in. But he's there for 15 minutes underwater, right? And then they revive him. The doctors tell Joyce Smith and the whole family he's not going to survive. Mm -hmm. So. You know, Matt, this is one of those, it's, it's deemed uh, the genre of faith-based movies. It's Easter weekend. I'm not sure why you have to have a genre like that. Why can't you just have a movie? You see Topher Grace there. He plays Pastor Jason, and Marcel Ruiz plays John Smith. You know who's the executive producer? No. Think about the biggest names in movie producing. Who would you think? How about Stephen Curry? You ever hear of him? Uh, Steph Curry. Steph oh, Curry. Yes, that's Steph right. Curry. It says Steve, that. Steph Curry that, is yeah. a producer of this movie. How does that happen? By well, that's he's friends with Devon Franklin, and then John Smith was a big basketball fan. There's posters okay. in his. I don't know if in his real room there were Steph Curry posters, but in the movie there are. You know, this is a great story, and unfortunately, I think the story is better than the movie itself. It um, it really, I think, and the actors are great here. I don't know. Josh Lucas seemed a little off kilter because he seemed like one of these things is not like the other. But the mm. focus on the story and, and the the miracle. I don't know how you can deem this anything else because everybody, all the medical doctors and Dennis Haysbert, who's uh, I think best known as the president, right, from 24, and maybe some of those insurance commercials, yeah. <laughs> plays one of the, the doctors here at Cardinal Glennon. You see some shots with Cardinal Glennon in the background. So I, I'm going to say maybe a C for this movie, but the story is so good. I think people are going to want to see it. I really thought they could have made something very special out of this story. And I don't think they got there Felt with Breakthrough. Right. But, you know, Chrissy's really good. And I don't want to dissuade people around here from seeing it because I think they'll forget a lot of the particulars of the movie. And it's a great Just story. Just following the yeah, plot line. It really and is. And I think it'll do disproportionately well in St. Louis because of its local Maybe, but, you know, this I, movie, I they opened on Wednesday. They got off to a good start. Yeah. And this is one of those movies. I think it might surprise people with how much money it's going to make, which is good. You know, you have churches and, and um, organizations taking buses to screenings today and have been right. throughout the last couple of days. They mm -hmm. did a lot of pre-screenings. So there's an audience for sure for this film. Quick word on penguins before we let you go. This it's is another, Disney's new release. Yeah, here. it's another movie from Disney Nature, and it's Earth Day, of course, coming up. This yep. is the story of Adele penguins as they go to the Antarctic and take this miles and miles of treks to try to find a mate, but they have to deal with things like leopard seals and killer whales. Ed Helms is the narrator here. He kind of puts a nice spin on this. It's a 76-minute movie. I personally think that Nat Geo and PBS does a much better job on these nature documentaries. But this is one that they've had a kind of a roll on with the Disney Nature films. Again, kind of a maybe a mild recommendation to get the kids out of the house. Maybe on this Friday when it's not uh, the greatest weather, you could probably do worse than penguins. Okay, there you go. Mark, thanks so much. Appreciate the insight as always. Don't forget, you can listen to Mark Reardon weekday afternoons on KMOX 1120.